Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Avan Nur Fatma and welcome back to Journals of Kids. Today here with me is Jal Kifal. And we are back with another book review and I remember you guys enjoyed our previous book review a lot. So this time we will be doing a book review of Charlie Changes into a Chicken. And this time of course like last time here we have Zul Kifal and you guys showed him a lot of love and I'm really grateful for that. And if you haven't seen the previous book review, the link is right over here so please do click it and watch it. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's see it. Now let's start off with the cover. The cover it's nice, it's yellow, it's glittery and I love the three fonts. The same font but different handwritings. We've got the chicken and balloon handwriting and there's even a chicken as the C. We've got changes into a in purple and balloon handwriting with Charlie in dark red, popping red. Let's look at the back. So now I'm going to be explaining Charlie's friend, Nora Wogan and Mosen. And basically, Flora is an optimistic person. She loves creating crazy ideas, but they always go right, surprisingly. Then we have Wogan. Wogan is a funny guy. He can get very shy sometimes, but just like Mosen, he, they both are very kind. And they both also get in trouble a lot. He is wearing a blue jacket as well, and Wogan is wearing a white t-shirt. Now over here, you may be questioning yourself, who in the world is that? That is Dylan. He is the class bully and he's trying to expose Charlie that he changes into animals, by the way. And now for Charlie. Whenever Charlie has a specific emotion, he changes into animals and the emotion you need to find out in the book. He can get very nervous sometimes and there's a play coming in two weeks. So we need to figure out a cure. But thankfully, Nora, Wogan and Mohsen are here to help him. But Dylan is not. He's trying to expose him. What is he going to do? What is, how is he going to do it? And what will be the effect? Find it in the book. So now I'm going to be reading the text. Charlie McGuffin has an incredible secret. He can turn into animals, all sort of animals. In fact, a animal, a pigeon, and even a rhino. Trouble is, it only happens when he gets worried. And right now, Charlie has quite a lot to worry about. His brother who's in the hospital, his parents who are panicking, and the school bully who has Charlie in his sights. With the help of his three friend, three best friends, Charlie needs to find a way to deal with his crazy new power and fast. The modern masterpiece, Daily Telegraph. And the author is Sam Copeland. And he even said himself that there's no important message in this book, Sam, Sam Copeland. And that there's no important message in this book. It's just a funny, hilarious book. And Sarah Horn is the illustrator. And then here are the illustrations. It's a very cartoon. Like this is his brother, Charlie's brother. And by the way, his actual name is Charles. But people call him Charlie for short, even though it has the same amount of letters. Found out in this book, by the way. So here is Charlie changing into a chicken with his chicken legs. And this is him changing into an animal. Guess which one it is. Pretty easy though. Now let me show you some of the fonts. And these are, this is the font. So it's like this pitch black, very colored font. And it's written fizzed and hummed. Hummed and fizzed is basically the highlighted one. It's big and thick. That's the kind of font that one is. Over here we have joint handwriting and some massively handwriting to really, you know, highlight the words. So this is a really funny book. You know, you can read it whenever you're sad or whenever you're feeling upset because it'll really make you happy. It'll really brighten up your mood. And also, here is a, a little joke that came from the book itself. So one time, Charlie changed into a spider, BTW, that was the first time he changed into a spider. And he thought of, that he was so hairy, that he was even hairier than his uncle and a gorilla would be jealous. That was just hilarious. That was one of the first jokes I read and it made me laugh for like a minute or two. It was really hilarious and really fun. So, the, so this is the overall review. I rate this book a 10 out of 10 because it is very good. It has very descriptive words. It's very, it's very entertaining. You know, you want to read more. And it's very thrilling and nice and makes you feel in a good mood. All the credits go to Sam Copeland and Sarah Horn. This book is more of a hilarity book, a funny book. A book that will make you laugh. A book that will make you giggle. Because it has such words that that literally just make you want to laugh so badly and to the point that my stomach started to hurt 
thank you for watching Realism for Kids. I have another book review. And in that book review, I reviewed the book Zombie Rella. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Ilkipil signing off. Oh, <laughs>